Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I hope everyone's having a great day today, but if not, hopefully we can change that by the end of this video. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing dupes for some of the most raved about skincare products of all time and the alternatives that I have found are either more affordable, have better ingredients, a better formula, or are a combination of all of those things. But before we jump into that, really quickly, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment below, that would be much appreciated because it really helps Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, so thank you so much for doing that. And if you need anything from me at all, like Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, links to my merch, links to the products that I'm going to be talking about, discount codes, timestamps, anything like that, it's always listed in my description box below. All right, let's jump into it. All right, the very first product that I found a dupe for is from CauseRx, and it's their Advanced 96 Snail Mucin Power Essence. So this retails for $25, and in the bottle you get 3.38 fluid ounces of product, so it's it's not crazy expensive, but it's definitely not affordable either. However, it is a really, really great product. So in it, you get 96% snail secretion filtrate. If you're not familiar with that ingredient, it is incredible at helping to hydrate the skin and helping to support barrier repair. On top of that, there are other ingredients that help to do those same things, help to calm, soothe, protect, hydrate. So some of those ingredients include hyaluronic acid, panthenol, arginine, and olantoin. Enter my dupe for this product. So this is from the brand peach slices and it's called the snail rescue blemish busting toner this has 4.05 fluid ounces of product in it but it retails for $13.99 so you're getting a much more affordable price for a little bit more product which is amazing and this has 95% snail mucin in it versus 96 I mean no difference so pretty much the exact same thing there as far as the rest of the ingredients this also does have hyaluronic acid and it actually has multiple forms of hyaluronic acid at that unlike the power essence which just has one other than that, no other ingredients in common, but this does have vitamin E to help to condition the skin and Centella Asiatica, which is another incredible ingredient for barrier repair, wound healing, and hydration. So a lot of goodies in this. I'm a little bit confused by their choice of what am I trying to say here? I'm just a little bit confused why this is called a blemish busting toner because at least for me, when I see words like that, I assume I'm going to find ingredients like witch hazel or salicylic acid or other forms of exfoliants on the label and that's not what this product is at all. So that is definitely why I overlooked this product at first, but once I dug into it, I was like, oh, this is totally a dupe for the CauseRx Power Essence, and it has that same incredible formula where it's very lightweight but incredibly hydrating. So I've been using this all the time in the morning underneath moisturizer, and it just makes my skin look so, so healthy and glowy and plump. I love it, but then I'm also getting the benefit of the barrier repair ingredients for some calming and soothing. So I would definitely check this out if you've been using the power essence you want something more affordable or you haven't tried that yet because of the price point i think you will be in love with this all right let's talk about hyaluronic acid next so i really wanted to find an alternative to the ordinary's hyaluronic acid serum that was comparable in price but had a better formula and better ingredients because the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum does have great ingredients. It has two forms of hyaluronic acid. It has panthenol, which is going to help to calm and soothe the skin. Of course, it's very affordable. It's $6.80 for an ounce of product, but the formula is not my personal favorite. It almost is a little bit sticky and I know for a lot of people it pills very easily. For me, once I put moisturizer on top, a lot of that stickiness goes away and I do think that something like that actually can be great for a makeup primer, but I know that a lot of people just don't love the formula, myself included. So what I found that I think is definitely a better alternative to that is the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. So this bottle also has one fluid ounce of product in it, which I will say when I was first looking into the Inky List as a brand forever ago, I was like, why would I pay a little bit more for a lot less product? I thought that there would be like half the amount of product in this bottle as there is in the Ordinary's bottles, but they're the exact same amount. So I think the packaging is just a little bit misleading. You guys will have to let me know if any of you thought that as well. So same amount of product it is a little bit more expensive. It's $7.99, but still very comparable. And in this situation, I do definitely think the increased price is warranted here. There are also two different forms of hyaluronic acid in this serum as well, but instead of panthenol, you get Matrixyl 3000, which is a combination of peptides that has shown really promising results as far as anti-aging goes. So it's something that may be able to help to stimulate 
stimulate collagen production and help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and ju juck, what? <laughs> just make the skin look overall more plump and youthful and healthy. So if you're looking for an all-in-one serum to help with anti-aging and hydration, this is definitely going to be the one to go for. Of course, if you need something that is more so focused on barrier repair and calming and soothing, Panthenol will be the ingredient for you, but otherwise I do think that that is a nice little upgrade. On top of that, I also do think that this just has a superior formula to the ordinary. It's a little bit, hmm, I don't want to say thicker because it's definitely not a thick serum, but there's just something about it that still is lightweight, but kind of, I don't know, like... It just feels nicer. It doesn't have the stickiness. It doesn't pill at all for me. It feels so, so nice on the skin. It's very, very hydrating. It makes my skin look glowy. I really enjoy this formula and it's something that I reach for every time over the ordinary. So if you're okay spending a little bit more money, you want some anti-aging there, this is going to be the one for you. All right. The next product that I found a dupe for is from Verst. It's their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I know a lot of people love this and even though this already is technically a drugstore brand, you can find it at Target. It's definitely on the higher end of price points for the drugstore because it's $17.99 for 2.3 fluid ounces of product. It does have some really great oils in it to help to melt off that makeup and soften the skin in the process. So things like apricot oil, jojoba oil, sesame oil, and avocado oil. So all of those are great. But the reason why I wanted to find a dupe for this is because it does have a lot of different forms of fragrances and essential oils. So things like eucalyptus oil, clove oil, eugenol, and limonene. The fact that this is a product that you rinse off the skin definitely makes me less concerned about potential for irritation because you're not leaving it on, which can definitely make a product more likely to irritate the skin than if it's just being used to swipe off makeup and then being rinsed away. But even still, I know for some people, using any product period that has a lot of those ingredients can be really irritating. It's something that I have to be really, really careful about because my skin can just flare up kind of at the drop of a hat. Like I never really know what's going to irritate it. And even products that don't have any ingredients like that can irritate my skin. So I typically just steer clear altogether which is why I wanted to find a dupe. And the dupe that I found is fragrance and essential oil free. It is the, what? I just blacked out for a minute. It's the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. There's 2.5 ounces of product in this and it retails for $15. So we're getting a little bit more for a little bit less, which of course is great. And there are also some awesome ingredients in this to help to melt off that makeup, soften, condition the skin. So things like shea butter, vitamin E, green tea oil, and sea buckthorn oil. Again, fragrance and essential oil free. So we don't have to worry about this irritating the skin and this formula is something that I love so so much it's definitely very thick at first but it immediately melts down and turns into kind of an oil I really enjoy it it's not greasy it's not waxy it works so well for me it just lets me swipe off my makeup it rinses away so easily it's so great so if you're looking for something that's going to be less likely to irritate the skin and is a little bit more affordable, but still has great ingredients and an amazing formula, good molecules. Okay, the next product that I found a dupe for is very, very expensive. I mean, it's from Tatcha, so it's obviously a more luxurious brand and they just have higher price points in general, but it is their water cream moisturizer. Retails for $68 and you only get 1.7 ounces of product in that jar. This moisturizer definitely does have some nice ingredients overall. So things like green tea, rice extract, squalane, but for the price point, I feel very underwhelmed by the ingredients list and the dupe that I have for it, I personally think has better ingredients, a very, very comparable formula and is a lot more affordable. And that dupe is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. So this is their fragrance-free version. They do have one that has added fragrances. This one does not, so I love that we have that option. You also get 1.7 ounces of product in this jar, but for $12. So a fraction of the cost compared to Tatcha. And I do think that these ingredients are more impressive if I'm being honest. So the only ingredient that this has in common with the Tatcha moisturizer is squalane. But on top of that, you'll find peptides in here, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, niacinamide. So, so many incredible ingredients to help to calm and soothe and protect and hydrate and replenish the skin. The anti-aging benefits of the peptides. I just, all around, I love this ingredients list. One of the best that I've ever found from the drugstore and the formula 
this is where I feel it's a dupe for that Tatcha water cream. It is so, so yummy. So similar to the Tatcha water cream, it's very lightweight. It's incredibly hydrating. When you rub it into the skin, it almost thins out a little bit and has kind of that watery element. But at the same time, it's definitely something that is occlusive enough to keep me moisturized all day long. I really do feel like this is the perfect daytime moisturizer for the winter time or the perfect nighttime moisturizer if you have skin that I would say is normal to oily, normal combo, anything like that. I think it is plenty moisturizing enough to last all night as well. It's just so, so nice. I cannot say enough good things about this formula. It feels incredible. I've always felt that this is a product that feels high end, feels luxury. I've never really understood how it's affordable as it is. So I would pick this over the $68 water cream any day. The only downside to it that I do want to point out is that there are two ingredients in this that are higher up on the label that can be comedogenic. So if you have really acne prone skin, just be aware of that. Of course, that doesn't mean that this product is automatically going to cause you to break out or that it's going to be an issue for everybody. I know that a lot of people use this and love it and have no issue with it, but I just wanted to make sure that I was quickly pointing that out just in case. All right, the final product that I found a dupe for is one of the most hyped skincare products of all time. It is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This retails for $29.50 and in the bottle you get four ounces of product. Like the name suggests, there's 2% BHA slash beta hydroxy acid. That is the same thing as salicylic acid. Great ingredient for clogged pores and blackheads. And then on top of that, this also has green tea extract, which can help to calm and soothe the skin a little bit from any potential irritation that you may experience with that salicylic acid. Great product, for sure. I found something more affordable that I think is even better. So this is also from Peach Slices. They're really coming through with the affordable dupes. It's their acne exfoliating toner, which they call a salicylic acid acne treatment. This has four ounces of product in the bottle as well, but it retails for $10.99. This also has 2% salicylic acid in it, so the exact same amount as Paula's Choice, but on top of that, there are a lot of other incredible ingredients in this that are not in the Paula's Choice liquid exfoliant at all. So a couple of the more noteworthy of those ingredients include lactic and glycolic acid. These are alpha hydroxy acids that are incredibly beneficial for exfoliating the skin, helping to lighten dark spots, smooth texture, amongst a lot of other benefits as well. So that is super exciting. And on top of that, even though this doesn't have green tea extract in place of it, it has two other ingredients that are great for calming and soothing the skin as well, allantoin and Centella asiatica. And this has an amino acid to replenish the skin called arginine. So overall, I feel more impressed by this ingredients list. I of course feel more impressed by the price point and the formula is the exact same type of thing. Very liquidy, pretty much just feels like water. It's definitely not something that feels drying on my skin. Is it something that feels as silky and soft and hydrating like let's say their snail rescue product definitely not but it just kind of disappears which is really nice then you could put a product like that on top of it to get the hydrating benefit but of course here the benefit is the exfoliation so awesome product super affordable yay for peach slices. All right, you guys, those are all of the dupes that I wanted to share for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you were excited about some of these dupes and trying them out for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you do decide to try out any of these products. I'll have all of them listed in the link to my description box below in order of mention per usual. If you'd like to see a part three of this video because I have already done a skincare dupes before, which I'll list below as well, let me know if there's anything else you would like to see from me next. Let me know that as well as always per usual and if you enjoyed this video again you guys know the drill please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe click on that notification bell send my channel to a friend thank you so much for doing all of those things it really helps to support me stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days but until then i hope you have a great few days